But we start this Friday edition at 5 o'clock with Valley Churches stepping up to help asylum seekers coming to the U.S. It comes as immigration officials say they're seeing an increase. Good evening, I'm Jonathan McCall. I'm Rachel Cole and new tonight, Team 12's Adriana Loya spoke to one family being assisted by a Mesa pastor. Adriana. Well, guys, the Venezuelan family got here to this church on Thursday after a brutal two month journey. A competitive soccer match unfolding Friday at Iglesia Cristiana El Buen Pastor in Mesa. Seven-year-old Angelo Daza facing off Pastor Hector Ramirez, using the skills he learned while playing in Ecuador, the country where his family moved to in 2017 after escaping Venezuela. La delincuencia se puso terrible. Angelo's mother, Angelis, says she, her son and husband were once again forced to flee their home in July after criminals began threatening to kill them when they refused to pay extortions. Nosotros salimos de, de Ecuador el 20 de julio. The journey to make it to the U.S., difficult and painful. Thousands of hours and days of walking, including through the Darien Gap, where they saw dead bodies. They had to sleep on the floor. They ran out of food and water and were bitten by insects and cockroaches. Their bodies full of the scars. The burning sun through the day and intense rain at night, sending Angelis to the hospital with pneumonia. Then in Mexico, a day after they celebrated Angelo's birthday with the little they had, the family of three kidnapped. The family freed eight days later when relatives paid a ransom. On September 12th, they made it to the U.S.-Mexico border, where they turned themselves into Border Patrol. Two days later, mother and son got a warm welcome at the Mesa Church. We received 80 people all week. The pastor says weekly they are receiving 30 to 60 people, families from all over the world, including Africa, India and Central America. The Bible says we need love for the people. So we need help people. He says they are in need of donations, clothes, shoes and food. Would you guys do this again? Sí, sí lo volvería a hacer. Despite the suffering they endured getting here, Añali says she would do it all over again for a better life for her son. Now, Angeli's husband is still being held by immigration authorities. The family hopes to reunite with relatives in New York. In Mesa, Adriana Loya, 12 News.